Hello, in the previous videos, we discussed importing data, creating reports from our data, and viewing charts and stats of our data. Now we're going to talk about how to actually pull the information we've collected out of REDCap. When I click on export data, we have a few different options for file formats, as well as options for removing identifiers, hashing the record ID, so turning it into an unrecognizable string of numbers and text values, removing any unvalidated text fields, as well as removing any notes or essay boxes. So a validated text field would be a field such as a date format field, whereas unvalidated would be free text. The thinking here that anything that's being typed in might be recognizable and therefore identifying information, uh, removing any dates, as well as the option to shift any dates. Over here on the left, Excel raw data versus labels. What that will mean will be seeing our data as one, two, or three, uh, whereas labels would have any text value such as yes, no, or maybe. In most of the other options, we have the option of seeing both the text and the numeric value, which is why only the CSV values have those options. So for example, if I click on Excel, export data, and click open raw, we can see for the numeric values, for the multiple choice values, it has the number value. In contrast, if I was to export with labels and open that up, we can see yes and no, true and false, as well as the various values uh, provided. Something to note for check boxes. It will just say the question at the top and then checked versus unchecked and it breaks out each possible answer as its own column by default. Uh, we also could try pulling our data into SPSS, uh, which for m many individuals at the medical center is available for down download from MCIT. Uh, though different roles may have different permissions. And if you're interested in obtaining it, it maybe worth discussing with MCIT. That said, it must be worked with through the VPN or on campus. So when I export to SPSS, here we'll see we actually have three file types. We get the data itself, the SPSS file, and the pathway mapper. When we open up our pathway mapper, an important feature will be to provide it with the uh, with the file location. So for example, we can see the pathway mapper will only work on, oh, excuse me, for uh, working with the pathway mapper will only work on a non-Mac. So if I click on the SPSS file, here we can see up near the top, it's providing the file name, but we have to actually provide it with the path to the data. So we can just find that data click on it and right click on it and then I believe hitting alt will let us copy the path name and then we can overwrite what we have here though it seems to have frozen up for me on my computer right now so we would provide it with the full path name once that's up and running to read in our SPSS data we could also export to R, which similarly will provide two files, a CSV that we can download and the R file that we can open up. And when we open it in R, similarly, we just wanna make sure that our working directory is gonna to go to our downloads or wherever we've saved that CSV file. Choose directory, downloads, open. And then I can run everything here Let the wheels spin. And here we've got read our data into our R project and we can analyze our data accordingly. So these are the features, these have been the features for data import, data export, including making reports and viewing stats and charts of our data in REDCap. 